This is the home where police say the standoff happened. You can see the extensive damage left after police put tear gas canisters through nearly every single window here. They tell us this all began because the suspect, Keith Deshaun Montgomery, threw cinder blocks at police, then opened fire inside this home while there were children inside. Police need your help to find this man, Keith Deshaun Montgomery. He is dangerous. He's already committed to firing that weapon. Police say he's the man behind a massive response this morning to a barricaded gunman. It happened on Detroit's east side on Brentwood Street near 7 Mile and I-75. Several streets, including that service drive, were closed for hours. Neighbors were told to stay inside. I witnessed a whole bunch of red and blue police lights. And them telling me to get back in the house because it was the kill zone. Police were called here at 2:30 for shots fired. They say Montgomery was fighting with his ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend. Once inside the home, police say Montgomery threw cinder blocks at them and then fired more shots. That's when the special response team, tactical unit, and MSP were all called in to assist. We believe he used it as a diversion. Uh, firing those shots, officers were able to take cover, get the women and children out of the location, but he used that opportunity to escape. Unaware the suspect was gone, they fired rounds of tear gas trying to get him out. Police shot about, about 30 rounds of tear gas in the house and going to find out the guy wasn't even in there. The two children, a one and two year old, inside the home with their mother, all made it out safely. Police say no one was hurt. Now they're on the hunt. If you know anything about where the suspect, Keith Deshaun Montgomery, is, please call police. Again, he is considered armed and dangerous. Do not approach him. Reporting from Detroit, Shelley Childer, 7 Action News. Shelley, thank you.